there's not a really good way to explain it except for kind of experiencing it yourself. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> there's so much. There's, yeah. We get to live out here. This is our home. I feel like that explains so much of it for me. There's something very special in, um, about being able to carry everything that you are going to need on your back and just going out to these places are going places where like Teddy Roosevelt went and John Muir and Galen Clark and I mean the list could go on and on but that that feeling of just really going back to the basics and just keeping it simple is just something that um, I also take home with me. Super protected. A good friend of mine I was reading her a job description once and she says that sounds terrible <laughs> but it sounds perfect for you <laughs> and that's a good way of explaining it Sequoia, Kings Canyon, Yosemite National Parks are all located within a class one airshed and what a class one airshed is is that this is the highest protection afforded under the Clean Air Act so there's a strong connection between air and water in the high Sierra Nevada Air pollutants travel from our cities and agricultural areas up into these remote mountains and they're deposited via rain, snow, and particles like dust into our mountain lakes. We'll rinse it and then we'll fill, so I'll give you a bunch. Our job is really important because we're in California and California has a lot of people and we're dealing with water and we're looking at lake water chemistry and seeing if there's changes to that. You know, the mountains that we're in, all these watersheds drain down towards the Central Valley and they are the water supply for some of our farmers in the Central Valley. They are the water supply for, you know, folks in Southern California and the Bay Area alike. So even being able to monitor these changes on a small scale of, you know, a 10 year data set uh, is super important. And I think that, you know, we'll be able to inform people about what's happening in the Sierras. About half of the fruits, vegetables, and nuts that people eat in the U.S. come from the Central Valley right down there, California. And the water up here is very critical. What water starts here and exiting the Golden Gate a lot of our monitoring is focused on picking up effects from air pollution and changes like a warming climate. And they're, in addition to having these threats, they're very sensitive to change. Sierra Nevada lakes are naturally very clear and blue because they don't have a lot of chemicals and nutrients in them. And there's, there is life in them, but not a lot. As you get more algae growth in them, the lakes become less clear. So from an aesthetic point of view, we see a lot of changes. And from an ecological standpoint, you're changing the whole food web dynamics. And it's a, a fairly simple food web, so um, small changes can have kind of profound effects on the natural cycles. It's really amazing that even though our little segment of this legacy is just our data set for this summer, it plays a role in this way bigger picture looking at incremental changes over time and knowing even what's here and what's happening and it's cool to be even that little you know puzzle piece so there are things that you can do to help protect these lakes supporting um, policies that reduce air pollution is probably one of the best things we can do especially policies that reduce both uh, carbon and nitrogen. But you can also make a lot of individual day-to-day -day choices. Um, you know, how much you drive, carpooling, and buying things locally or that, you know, aren't using a lot of emissions to get to you. It's a lot of self-reliance, mm -hmm. for sure. Like, it's personal triumphs every mm -hmm. day. What you thought you weren't capable of doing, yeah. you now realize that you are capable of doing that and more. The most important thing that we hope to learn from this monitoring is how the lakes are changing over time. We want to understand the effects that air pollution and climate change are having on the lakes, but also how the policies that we've put in place to help protect them are, are working. Before I leave a site, I like to just take one last view of it 
take the whole panorama and 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 honestly wonder to myself you know will this place be the same when I come back and how will I be different when I come back to it um I also like to wonder maybe who I'll bring with to to share it with because you know it could be quite a few years down the road but I would like to say that I could still scramble over all those rocks <laughs> and make it up there. Um, yeah, I, I do wonder that a lot.